The Gainsborough for Ted and me is a, a really, really romantic place. We got it uh, just a year after we first met. We've been together 35 years. Um, right after we met, we read this article in New York Times about a woman who owned three small homes in three parts of the country, and we were really intrigued by that. Um, we moved here from the East Coast and the Midwest. We love to travel, and we just love that idea. And so we live now in this apartment in the Gainsborough in Seattle, um, in our beach house westward on Vashon Island, and our farmhouse Hawthorne in the Hudson Valley. Everything in the apartment is filled with things we love. It's things we collect on our trips. Um, there's just tons of vintage, there's family objects. Um, and that to us brings us just a tremendous amount of joy because we're surrounded by um, everything that we love. Um, color plays a, a large part in, in my day to day for the stores. So for the apartment, uh, we really wanted to have the main room be not lots of color. So therefore it was really soothing. We think of the apartment as kind of almost a hotel suite and we were able to really kind of make it our own. Um, so the main room being that kind of chocolate brown and we call it haagen coffee ice cream on the other wall. You know, we always have lots of candlelight in that room and it's, um, it's just comfortable. We spend a lot of time in there and it's great for entertaining. And then in the other rooms, we kind of took a cue from a favorite hotel in Paris and each room is a very vibrant color room. And the room that we really love the most is just an incredibly strong yellow. So we made our bedroom that color. And then we did the kitchen uh, and our guest room, the greens that we love so, so much. And we have a lot of, you know, all of Hawthorne is green. And then we did the hallway, a lovely blue. And it, all of those colors just really kind of work together as a whole. And um, we just find tremendous happiness being in space. I mean, this kitchen, let's just talk about the amazing visual nature of this kitchen and how practical and beautiful it is because mm. of its open shelves. Right. Everyone, please yeah. think about it if you open, don't have it. Open shelves. We do it in New York. We we do it out on the island, we do it here. Um, open shelves, just when a space isn't really, really large, it just, it makes it much larger. And it also kind of forces you to be somewhat organized. Yes. And so to me, it's like, you know, if, if there's doors on everything, it's easy just to throw stuff in. So And hide it. And hide it. Here, you really want to be kind of, um, you're forced to be a little more creative with it. And to me, then that way, you know, um, you can show up your collections. And you had so much fun here. Oh. You really uh, did. Lots of fun. I mean, that's pottery. Um, um, primarily McCoy that we collected early on in our relationship. So I mean, most of that stuff's almost 30 years old. Green glass we get when we're traveling, the glasses, um, artwork. There's a bunch of Mary McGuire there. Let's talk about the practical nature though. Yeah. As much as you had fun with displaying all your collections, mm -hmm. interwoven in a very accessible way yeah. are your glasses, is a water pitcher, yeah. candles for the offering. Okay, everyone will want to copy this along with me. <laughs> Glasses yes. with the silverware. Silverware. 
and side down the yep, handles up yep. napkins ready to go but look how good it looks instead so, of it being tucked into drawers right and then it's really you're much more you know like we talked earlier about you know setting a you know we set a table mm -hmm. always you know it makes setting a table a table so much easier you're and right. and then like these I love these weck jars yeah, I, I I'm a, of kind of obsessed with weck jars this. and then you know they're nice and hearty and I like how it gives a sense of the occasion right this is a person that should you ever knock on their door, they are ready they're, for they're you ready at a moment's own. They're ready to rock and roll. Exactly. Uh, hello. Yeah. KitchenAid is custom green or how, um, like no, that just, exists? That's their, that was the we're green at some point that and they did. just a sprig, a large sprig of the most mint. beautiful mint I've seen in a glass of water is yeah. as beautiful as any bouquet in Absolutely. a store. Absolutely. Um, herbs, I, I use herbs a lot in place of flowers. Ted. OMG, that refrigerator lighting up like that. That's like a museum display. This is refrigerator goals for everyone. Well, the glass front really makes it, um, like I love seeing the food because mm -hmm. uh, it's food is so visual. Um, and to me, both Ted and I are like crazy organized. And um, uh, I don't, it's pretty. Um, okay, this is like <laughs> we something don't, that could we, be. We don't have children. so that, the that's Museum really of <laughs> Modern Art. Like I want that, like the iced coffee and it's yes, perfect little crap. Yes. Love the idea of the asparagus, asparagus and yes. that's so pretty too. And yeah. that just makes me happy. The a big bowl of lemons always. Yes, but inside a refrigerator. I hadn't yeah. thought of that. Right, right. And then ready little, to go. Uh, a little voo, ready to rock and roll. One of uh, Ted's and my favorite traditions is for our anniversary each year, we give each other a piece of art. So virtually everything you're seeing in the apartment here is something that's one of our anniversary gifts. Oh, how um, lovely. You can see we have a real love for black and white yes. in all forms. Uh, photography, lithograph, we have napkin sketches, we have a monkey paw print. Um, it all started with a series that we inherited from my grandparents, uh, which is a, a series of German impressions is um, from the 20s. It's in the hallway. And, when exactly. You come in. And so we love that in the apartment, and it just grew from there, and it keeps on growing, and we keep on adding. We've been together and, a long time. Yeah, we have. I love <laughs> seeing that this is almost a visualization, a symbolic visualization of your togetherness because no. <laughs> there's so much here. And do you switch off or do we each do. of you, so uh, it's two a year. Yeah, the wall tends to evolve over time. I just got a piece that Ted hasn't seen yet. Um, that's gonna cause us to have to rearrange the wall, but that's, Ted, that's part of the fun. By the way, let's reiterate, you're both Ted. Yeah. So Ted and Ted <laughs> yes. are givers and receivers of this amazing anniversary exactly. tradition. Yeah, exactly. What I just wanna point out to people, because I think a lot of people wonder about when they do a gallery wall like this, this, should they do all different frames, which they can, but you both have decided to unify it with single black wood frames. We do, we do have that unity. There's so much variety going on in the type of uh, material going on and in the picture or heavy narrative or nature. So the black gives it some unification as well on this really, really deep chocolate brown Love and it. then the white mats. So that tends to unify it. This is a super clever use of Olivia settee. Is that those are her the, faux flowers? Those are those Olivia settee. Um, we sell them at the shop, and it was one of those things that uh, that there used to not be a building there, and then there was a building there, which we love. But then we didn't really want to look at that all the time, so just kind of plunk them in there, and it was so a smart. fun way to do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But wait, so. Are those faux flowers too? Uh, these are absolutely not. These are the real the real deal. What? Um, this is flowering jasmine. Is that crazy? But wait, how That's, did uh, smell? How did you get them to come in like this? Well, we, oh my gosh, this is crazy. We went to Hawthorne on a trip. We left the window open, and it just started to creep up, and we just have never clipped it back. So it's uh, probably five or six years ago. Ted, this is such a beautiful table, as is your knack to do something. <laughs> So beautiful, and I know it's not just for this occasion. I think you and the other Ted, yes, always um, eat this beautifully. We uh, we definitely try, and thank you for the compliment. Even if it's um, pizza, even if it's pizza, take up a pizza martini on Friday nights. But um, thank you. I just to me, I just really feel like it. It honors the moment, uh, honors the meal. 
and the way that you do a table, I want people to see that it's not just putting some flowers and candles down. You can have fun by making every little detail, what the salt is in, little bowls, the matches, just little delights all throughout the center that just make it fun. Absolutely. It can be any object. It can be uh, something that you find on your travels, and if it brings you great joy, put it on, put your, it table. on your table. Absol absolutely. And surround it with cheese. Yep. And I would like to thank you for last <laughs> time I saw you, and yes. we filmed in New York at Hawthorne, Hawthorne yeah. um, you turned me on to jam and cheese. It was uh, fresh Parmesan. And I think it was cherry, cherry jam. jam. Yes, and, I mean, was. I have not stopped doing that combo since. <laughs> Good. So I'm super excited about having some uh, jam today with some cheese Yay. with you. Oh, so good, thank oh, you. Enjoy. Nice to have you here. We have a little bit of everything at Watson Kennedy, which I think makes it so much fun and visual for customers. Um, I've always done the color blocking thing really since day one. I just think it really helps because there's so much to look at. So the coloring uh, by grouping really helps people focus on a certain thing. Um, and I choose, there's not one item in the store that I don't personally choose. And I think that adds kind of a, a, a cohesiveness to everything. Um, our two shops, the first and spring shop, um, and then also my first store, which is in the Pike Place Market, is a part of the historic district. And that is where all of the stores have to be a first. So it's the first Starbucks, it's the first Sur La Table, it's the first Watson Kennedy. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange Q to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.